what I'd like to do is show you uh, the exponent rule for uh, when you have negative exponents. So the negative exponent rule, what it tells us is if I have a number to a negative exponent, what I can do is to, uh, to not write that with a negative exponent, I can write that as 1 over m. And to the contrary, it also works if I have 1 over m to the negative exponent, I can take that out of the denominator and rewrite it as the numerator as a positive exponent. So usually when we're doing these problems, what we want to do is we always want to display our numbers with positive exponents. So for this problem, Remember, the negative exponent, it doesn't tell you that the number is negative. What it's, ex it's just explaining uh, you know, where this exponent, how we can represent it. So this is a negative 3. My number is still going to be negative. It's not negative because of the negative exponent. So if I have negative 3, to rewrite this as a positive exponent, I have to now put it below, oh, I'm sorry, I have to put it below uh, my numerator. So now I can rewrite this as 1 divided by a negative 3 raised to the first power. Here, I can do the exact same thing. I'm just going to say, so over, originally you could say that 4 over 1 is raised to the negative exponent. Now, I just need to flip that to 1 over 4 squared. And then it works to the contrary. If I have 2 to the negative third power, to put that up front, I can now say that it's going to be 2 to the positive third power. So that's how we use our positive circular exponent property.